Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to today's reading. Today being Friday, June 21st, 2024, and the message is for all of us. Welcome, my dear viewers. Thank you all for being here. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish happy birthday to those of you celebrating today. I wish you a glorious day, and those of you who are celebrating other occasions like anniversaries, I wish you the best of the best. And I wish the best and the best of blessings to all of you, each and every one of you, whether you're celebrating or not. My dear viewers, I want to tell you something. While I was shuffling, this card fell twice, so I had no choice but to take it. If it once, I don't, but when it's two or three times, I take it. And the message says, let your past go. Let your past go. It says the burden of carrying your past around has made you weary. D1, it's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want to. No, sorry. You don't want it or need it anymore. And it's now gone. So let your past go. Whatever that's no longer working, your past, just let it go. Very interesting. Now, my dear viewers, you've got seven messages for all of us each and every one of us but of course you can make them personal by asking a question and choosing any kind of an answer to give you details dates information you know people's star signs the chinese sign elaboration about any subject that's on your mind and you want some sort of answers this is the time to use this so nominate what you want and um when i'm ready to come and go through these for all of us to see what the answers are or what the messages are if you're not ready just put me on pause and then unpause it to start seeing the answers okay i'll let you know when that happens so i'll just take two messages first and then we'll do that after these messages 21st friday for the collective june and it says the truth the truth also could help you set your past free by seeing the truth and having this strong clarity is going to help you let go of the past but the truth is going to help you also show you um, and make you understand the transformations, the changes, the fundamental changes that are taking place. We saw that yesterday, fundamental changes helping you move forward. So all that, all the transformations are taking place to finally give you the power to see that you are entering a new chapter, a chapter where you will see things very clearly and you will see the truth. It is the power of the truth that elevates us all. June 21st for the collective. And that's the second message. Ultimately to reach happiness. The truth is going to bring on changes that you will finally understand. And it's going to liberate you. Freedom and happiness. Both together with the bluebird. Freedom and happiness. Both together. Remember that. And it's starting for many in July. July. Five weeks from now, July. Okay, now that I've done this, before I go into the tarot, four messages for the collective. 21st, whoops, we've got the lovers that have just opened up. We need three more, the truth. And I'll leave these as they are. We'll just go through them in a moment. So first, let's go through this. I'll take this and put it over here. So there'll be room. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yep, starting with the first one. Now, this is a time when you're not ready and you have still... Uh, you still have to write some questions and nominate some answers. Do so. Um, I'm starting with the first one. Just pause it and then unpause it to get the truth. Okay. Starting with the first one. I've just chosen that one for me. That's all. Okay. I have to do that. Okay. Quickly. Let's have a look at this one. All right. It says, head of the pack, success, complete. Completion. So something is coming to a completion. I feel like um, somebody did something. They got they got everything done that they were supposed to. Karma has been restored. Uh, now they've got the right to move forward. The will to win was there. The strive to win. And yes, the motivation was there. Um, finally, finishing first. So this is all about dominating the race or the game. And being the head of the pack. Leading the way to success and completion and you've done so so if you've asked this question or this is for all of us there's a, a chapter or a section in your life that you were leading and you did it you completed it successfully and now it's time for you to you know to realize that you you win you have won you did it you were supposed to do it and you did it 
Um, this is going to bring a lot of healing to many of you. The beginning of a lot of changes to ultimately bring you healing. Chinese ear of the dog here, very strong. Chinese ear of the snake here, very strong. Chinese ear of the dragon this year, 2024 is the year of the dragon. Chinese ear of the rat. And um, people who have Taurus in them, Gemini, um, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Cancer, and Leo. No, sorry, Cancer and Gemini. Hmm. Taurus, Aries also, not Aries, sorry, Taurus. Taurus and Gemini and Cancer. Very interesting. Timing, 15 days from now, as in two weeks, or uh, it could be happening in this month, this process, the June. Maybe June is the time where you actually realize it. And there's a lot of changes taking place, heaps of changes. Let's take this one. It says, you are my true love, my heart and my soul. You are my true love, my heart and my soul. This is about success in a relationship. This is about uh, quick success shown in a relationship and you finally see the truth um four could be about four weeks from now chinese year of the cat rabbit four weeks from now july mm, again people born four we're talking taurus here taurus has come up twice and aries okay now let's move here to the next one it says anchor this is all about finally support having a uh, sorry stability it says enduring you've been going through something and you've been restraining yourself and you've been trying to persevere your willpower has been overwhelming something long lasting um that you were persisting on and finally the fortitude your hard work everything is bringing you the stability that you truly deserve you're transcending from where you are to high levels september is going to show you all that chinese ear of the monkey Chinese ear of the dragon, Chinese ear of the goat, and Chinese ear of the tiger. We've got August here. August, September is going to bring you all the stability that you need. And you will understand how solid your foundations will be and how steady everything will move forward. Your perseverance and willpower is going to pay off big time. Um, so August, September, and we've got the Chinese ears and the star signs here. Taurus again. Gemini. Virgo, Libra, Pisces, and Aries. Wow. Okay. Now, the next one here, we have the crown. This is all about power and wealth, both together. According to ancient wisdom, let's go into this. It says, honor and respect will come to you. Honor and respect. Is that? Can you see that without my glasses? Let's see. Yeah. Honor and respect will come to you. But this is power and wealth together. Okay, let's go to this section. It says, our hearts are connected. Take a moment to close your eyes and feel the connection. Our hearts are connected. This is the beginning of something incredible. Chinese year of the rat, one month from now, July. Um, people that are born in January also, who are Capricorn and Aquarius, connected to a new beginning. That's going to bring you a great connection. And um, you'll find how deep this connection is. Something new maybe, a new beginning. Or you're just exploring and you'll finally find that the connection is going to be overwhelming. One week or one month from now, timing. And Chinese ear of the rat. I'll take this one. And then it says here, butterfly. A change for the better. A change for the better. So... Like I was saying, the change is going to be beautiful. And I'll just put this one over here, the butterfly. Does it still show in the reading? I'll just bring it a little bit like that. Okay. Then we've got the raven, the crow. The crow is all about caution and red flags and being able to see what has been um, hidden from you. You'll get to actually see a lot of truth. Um, it's all about memories, remembering there's something mysterious going on, magical power, a new event or happening, something new that's going to take place. Clever problem solving and someone observant, someone who's a good problem solver, they're observant. And the omen, an omen, something that's going to show you that something is happening. The crow always is about showing you what is going to happen. It's cautioning you to focus Chinese year of 
the rabbit cat again, Chinese ear of the ox twice, buffalo twice, either they called ox or buffalo twice. Um, connected to people that are born in April who are again Aries, Taurus. Connected to Chinese ear of the ox, buffalo twice, um, Chinese ear of the cat, rabbit. People born in April, people born in February who are Pisces, Aquarius. Why is it always Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus? It's shocking, Gemini. Um, yeah, this is really incredible. The letter A for Antarctica. But the crow is about some news that's coming also and revelations at the same time, revealing stuff, revealing things. Uh, so it's a good omen, but there is something mysterious happening and there is... Um, um, what was it that I said? Remembering. It's about memories also at the same time. Now we're going to go through this. Okay, now let's talk about the lovers. The lovers is a major arcana that talks about collaboration with someone and you've reached to a level where you've got to make some decisions. Maybe it is connected to this person finally realizing that, you know, um, they're finally going to actually tell you that you are my true love, my heart and my soul, you are the one. Maybe some sort of declarations. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Uh, this is also about decision making. So a decision is going to be made very soon in regard to uh, someone that you're very much connected to, very much in love with perhaps. Let's see the second one. Wealth and money, unexpected out of the blue, life-changing fundamental changes of wealth coming your way. And we've got the crown, which is all about wealth and money. And power, money that gives you power. Okay, so we'll just get the next one. Leaving the past behind you. Let your past go. There it is. The Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is about memories. Going through the memory lane and remembering the happy times. But at the same time, it's saying you've got to say goodbye and let go of the past. It's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. It's the hardest thing to do. But sometimes you have no choice. Destiny intervenes and things change. Let's see the final one. This could be in connection to Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, that's moving on, taking action. Also someone that's very hard worker that might enter your life that you need to make decisions in regard. Either way, we'll find out more about it. You don't see someone inspiring and the ending of a chapter and a lot of wealth coming your way right after an ending. So someone inspiring that could be uplifting you to the next level, the end of a chapter and transformations, fundamental ones, to, you know, changing their foundations and ultimately living a life of happiness, a life of luxury, a life of wealth, actually. Have a look at that, a life of wealth. That's what it looks like to me. This money is giving you a life of wealth. So all the changes that are coming, that's why they're saying that the changes are going to be really better, much better than where you are today. So whatever is happening, whatever is coming is going to be spectacular. Happiness and um, one, two, hmm, this is here. Okay, what you don't see coming is this one here. Now let's take three more messages for the collective. Here we go. First one, we've got the Eight of Cups. It's amazing. The Eight of Cups haven't, hasn't stopped for the past, what, one month? Maybe more. Non-stop. Leaving with regret. Leaving when you're not happy. I'll just drink some water, my dear viewers. So, leaving with regret... Um, sadly leaving a situation in search of more happiness someone who is not happy and they want to leave so that's okay um, in search of more happiness let's see the second one it says the page of wands a new person entering your life someone wonderful you're destined to meet someone incredible could be fire energy Sagittarius Aries Leo any of those fire energies or it could be you you could be the fire energy that is letting you know that you're starting fresh with someone now we've got the Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Something wonderful ignites. Again, we've got fire here, the wands of fire energy. So something wonderful igniting and expanding, becoming spectacular. So it's rising and expanding, a new path that brings you a lot of happiness and um, expansion. What you don't see coming, there is someone entering your life who is an earth energy. 
That's why I said earth energy. There it is. We've got the queen of pentacles and a lot of wealth. Okay, I'll take the money of the wealth too. Now, earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Have a look at your general reading. That will tell you exactly who this person is, what star sign. There's a lot of money coming in, money that you will be empowered with. That's what we're talking about, money. We're talking about wealth, wealth, money, money, wealth. All of that is coming big time, and that is bringing you a lot of happiness because you are empowered to move forward the way you want, to live a life of luxury, to help others who are in need. You love you, some of you might be loving doing that. I know it's something that I love. Love helping those who are in need. Um, and empowerment, giving you power and glory. Um, power and wealth together with a crown. So this is incredible. Um, now, where was this? Here, I think. And then this one was somewhere here, perhaps. Yeah, what you don't see coming. Okay, we've done this. Now let's see two more messages from this section okay so the moon and the mask wow a lot of hidden factors are coming a lot of matters that have been hidden are coming to light you're finding out there could be theft embezzlement you've got to be very careful and cautious with both of these cards hidden matters are coming um the mask could be somebody hiding their reality putting on a facade not being honest um acting as though they care when they don't, hiding money, stealing money. It could be all that. Theft is there. Um, it could also be that you might find money that was stolen. That could also be um, another factor. But hidden potential, hidden situation, unknown situations come to light with the mask. And maybe that's why you're leaving the past behind you, maybe due to this. Now, the other matter is the moon is all about unknown matters coming to light. You're seeing your path clearly. Maybe one of your wishes being coming to light at the same time. Shifting things. Some of you might be might be considering working night, night shifts, part-time work. But the truth, the unknown um, coming to, um, to light, seeing the truth, visibility. Now, let's have a look at two more messages before we start clarifying everything. We've got the first one, and there's the second one. Okay, so it shows here reconciliation. Some of you, it says someone from your past is returning to your life. So there will be reconciliation, re reconciliations, and then there is you deserve love. So you are lovable, and you truly deserve love. Let's see the message from this deck. Oops, message for 21st for the collective. Okay, so we've got two of them. It says forgiveness. Well, when we have a reconciliation, obviously forgiveness becomes sort of part of that reconciliation concept. When you reconcile, that means you don't hold anything back. You forgive. So forgiveness is there. Um, forgiveness, it says stop focusing your energy on the past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. So forgiveness is very important here. Yeah. The next one says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love, both together. Intriguing. Okay. Let's do the, um, the clarifications. So it's about forgiveness, these messages. And when it comes to matters of the heart, you've got to make the right choices. From every choice, you learn and you expand your, li your life and your love life. Okay, so we don't want to see the grief of leaving, grief of loss of someone. We want to talk about this leaving. I, I do want to know about the leaving. And the Five of Cups shows grieving the loss of someone. So yes, leaving, but not happy leaving. Oh my God. Wow, look at that. The Two of Swords has come up. In regard to this, I'll just talk about the Two of Swords in a moment. The truth about the Eight of Cups. Right, so it does show there's the moon. The fact of the moon is there. Someone, uh, a situation that has reached an impasse, a, a dead end, there's no more growth. No more growth. And look at the moon here and the moon here in a, in a big way, the major. So this, this shows that, you know, hidden situations, hidden matters are there. That's why this Two of Swords has the truth are the swords, but the blindfold shows to me that a lot of hidden matters are there. Maybe there's a lot of lies. We've got lies and hidden factors and facade where somebody puts on a face where they're not real 
all that is uh, part of this and then we've got the moon so the moon on a grand scale shows that you know there are hidden situations and secrets and you know un untruths coming out and you are going to come to, you you are going to come to terms with the truth the truth is going to release you from something that you thought was incredible you thought that you could have you know moved forward with the situation a commitment but ultimately you're going to see the truth and i feel like july's again we keep seeing the moon coming in the readings every day um and in, not only in the daily ones that i do but even for the star signs like a lot of truth is coming out a lot of clarity to help you see what's ahead where your path is heading you all the changes the transformations that are taking you ultimately they're going to lead to happiness and finally clarity this is connected to chinese year of the dog connected to um um cancer also cancer so july big time and uh, I see that some of you are becoming um, more using your heart, like being connected to your heart more, using wisdom, committing to do better, to uplift yourself, to to um, upscale yourself. Some of you could be studying further, wanting more skills, upskill yourself. There, there's a lot going on with this. But you do want to change your life. You do want to see situations with wisdom. And you are committing to doing what is right. What is righteous? Interesting. Okay. This was all about leaving. And the reason for leaving is because something has come to an absolute end. Let's have a look at the lovers and see what decision is um, the lovers all about for the collective. Right. Now, this looks like collaboration. Working together in team. Working in business together. could be. A, this is about partnership in business because the Three of Pentacles is about money and wealth and making something glorious, creating a lot of money. There is a new opportunity, a beginning of prosperity, and things are going to go well, whatever you are planning. Even if it's just a love relationship, I feel like it could move into family. Uh, it could it turn into three. Also, it's about family. So uniting your life together with someone, starting fresh, a third party there, maybe a child or having a child. Or starting a family. But whatever it is, whether it's that or the real thing, which is like not the, the main thing, which is working together and team collaborating on a project and doing exceptionally well, a lot of glorious um, profits and the beginning of prosperity. So whatever it is, whatever is starting here, it's going to be spectacular. But in the process of this, you could ha you have maybe you need to leave someone behind and move forward. That could happen. We'll see. Let's have a look at the Four of Pentacles and see what the Four of Pentacles is all about for the collective. Where is this money coming from? This money is going to give you power to overcome every challenge. It's going to give you, like magic, that you will have power to move things the way you want. That's how powerful this money is. Good news is coming. With it comes the truth. And this money is going to be the reason that you'll be able to take action and move forward, getting some sort of like approval or a grant of some sort or a windfall or an inheritance even with the Four of Pentacles. It's unexpected, out of the blue, but it's life-changing, foundation-changing money that takes you to the next level and empowers you. So this good news is going to be giving you the power. Lately, they've been showing this all the time about money giving you the power to move forward there it is again, where you don't see happening, a grand, major, dramatic rise in your money. Money that you want to invest. This is all to do with, wow, an ending and to do with this decision that you're making with the lovers, the partnerships. So this doubled up and an ending, an ending and then making the right decision to move forward. Okay, let's have a look at the past and leaving the past behind. The Six of Cups, the memories of the past. Wow. Now, that past could also be the reason. Okay, two two messages here. They're both different. There could be money coming from the past. Someone from your past, you know, like, what can I say? Maybe a lost grandfather, lost grandmother or something, you know. Uh, somebody from the past that's leaving you a lot of money or giving you the gift of money, inheritance. That is a very strong possibility. Right. Another factor is there is an area of your life that's ended because you, you felt defeated. There wasn't much you can do. There's a lot of money coming from the past. Or I feel like the past, something hidden from the past is coming. And it is to, connected to wealth and power. Wealth and power is coming. 
and a lot of unexpected money is coming for you it is your right for some reason it might be your right that you were you didn't have an idea about because what you don't see coming is a life of wealth and a life of abundance wealth is all over the place and abundance so the rise in your money that happens out of the blue the beginning of prosperity all that leads to some money that was hidden from you that you didn't know about all of a sudden it's coming and it's life-changing life-changing money foundation changing you could you know buy a house maybe you could pay off your house maybe you could buy an apartment a condo or something or start your own business do something of your own it is all possible whatever was hidden maybe there was money stolen because we've got the moon and the mask this could have been money that was kept from you that you didn't know about that finally it's coming to light hidden money money that was embezzled or stolen money that was hidden that belonged to you and you didn't know it's coming your way that's why you are going to live a life of luxury a life of wealth awaits you or it could be a gift from the heavens that was hidden from you that could be also a possibility okay so we got that it was actually here we were dealing with the past yes the past and feeling defeated something's ending there is a soulmate about to come maybe that's why this is all ending and something has to collapse and come to an absolute ending because there's no more future left so a collapse of something and the beginning of something incredible let's have a look at the beginning talking about the beginning let's talk about this ace of wands what is igniting what is happening could it be love soulmate or money which one the truth about the ace of wands right it shows that it's connected to two things it is connected to someone of water energy scorpio cancer or pisces it is connected being torn between two situations and it is connected to money also emotions and money the queen of cups is about emotions someone that will fulfill you emotionally um and the and the two of pentacles is connected to money news about money that will help you make the proper decision a proper decision is going to be made ultimately there is going to be a great gift from the heavens this is the ending so i can take it great gift from the heavens for you so you've got the ace of prosperity ace of wealth together with two of these incredible two cards of wealth and power and you've got the crown on top of everything so this is the greatest gift from the heavens it could be the greatest love as a gift and this could be this is also the beginning of prosperity and you've got the cards of wealth You've also got um, why I put here the crown. The crown is about power, wealth, and money. And you've got a life of luxury and wealth again. And then you've got the um, six of pentacles, which is about being so powerful financially that you are able to help everyone or a lot of people who are in need. You will be supporting them and helping them. So this money is going to be a big amount, it looks to me, life-changing kind of money. All right, so let's move forward with the next next one which is um so now we know this new beginning is bringing you love emotional fulfillment or someone of water energy scorpio cancer pisces there or if it's you yourself emotional fulfillment for you if you're water energy and it's also bringing you um helping you make a decision finally some news is coming and the news is connected to money because the pentacles are material money right now Let's go to Page of Wands and see the Page of Wands and this new beginning. What is it all about for the collective? The truth. And the truth of the matter is that your mind is expanding. You're opening your mind. There's a lot of rewards. Opening your mind to a new concept. Working hard. You might meet someone that's working hard. You might be needing to be in this new venture or new uh, something new that's starting. You've got to be very careful with your money. Pay attention to details so that you don't lose any money. Um, when you're signing any documents make sure that everything is done right and you don't lose anything and i feel like there is there is a reward and there is expansion you are going to be empowered big time and there is that earth energy again um, coming into your life earth energy virgo taurus or capricorn this is what you don't see coming they're coming this could be part of the new person that's coming in your life they could have also fire energy in them because this is their page of wands they could have leo um very strong possibly leo because i see earth here virgo virgo uh, caspi leo 
Uh, but also Sagittarius or Aries, possibly. Taurus, Aries, also as a possibility. Okay, now let's have a look. Finally, there's one more that I want to know about, which is the Knight of Pentacles. Let's see who the Knight of Pentacles is. What is that energy all about for the collective? The Knight of Pentacles. Wow, this is the person that's leaving. One Earth energy is leaving. Someone is leaving. Leaving um, very unhappy in regard to do with a love situation. So the person that's leaving, this was the Eight of Pentacles, um, they are Earth energy. Why I say that? Yes, this is the person that's leaving. Leaving the past behind and moving away from it. Because it's right next to the past. A little bit of patience that says it's going to take place very soon. A lot of changes will take place. And then finally this person is going to be leaving. An Earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Leaving towards a better place. A happier situation. Moving towards the light. Towards... Um, more emotional fulfillment, more happiness, moving towards that. So that's why they're leaving. They're not happy where they are, and they're leaving the past behind them. It is all part of their destiny. That it's going to be challenging, but they are going to have a great victory without a doubt. And again, the Nine of Pentacles, a life of wealth and luxury, is destined for everyone. Not just for the Earth energy, this is for everybody. Um, what we were talking about before, a life of luxury and happiness and a lot of wealth is there. And someone wonderful and fulfillment is happening too. Money is coming, fulfillment, reconciliation from the past. People are reconciling, forgiving and moving forward. Um, there's a lot of wealth here, yes. And there's a lot of happiness coming also, which is very important, happiness. A lot of happiness is coming. A lot of money is coming. And someone very uh, much with earth energy also earth energy the strongest here so yes there will be an ending we've got the death card twice there's a lot of money coming life-changing situations here rise in your money to give you the life of luxury a lot of luck but destiny also i've got to talk about destiny because de destiny has brought on two cards of the lovers so that shows to me that someone's destiny is opening up with someone like um, a soulmate or a twin flame, and they're moving forward. They're leaving their past behind and moving towards a new lifestyle, someone wonderful they've fallen for. And I feel like they might have fallen for someone of either earth energy or water. They might be earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or they might have water energy, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or they might even have fire energy. Uh, because of the page of wands, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Have a look at your general reading under your star sign. You'll know exactly um, what's happening and who, what are the star sign combination of the person that you're moving forward with. You'll know all the details. Okay, and that's the end of that. But this is really beautiful. The life changing that's happening with the money and the rise in your money to give you the power to have a life of leisure and a life of abundance, having everything in love and money and everything all together this is like a dream come true now let's have a look at the chinese cookies and see what they want to contribute towards this we've got one and we've got two okay whoops we have right we've got the sunshine beautiful the sun is shining on you on your career business business growth fabulous communications and relationships the sun is shining to give you abundance in many areas of your life and then it says, assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for soulmate connections. The birth of a child is also likely. But the time is ripe for soulmate connections. So that's why we've got the lovers twice. So go for it. Even though you might be leaving the past behind, it's okay. That's why we've got to leave the past behind. Let your past go. Have a look at that. Let your past go. Mm, incredible and destiny there letting you know that and showing the two death cards the major transformations that are leaving a chapter moving to the next one but the good news is there's a lot of money coming in there's someone wonderful of earth energy there's someone that is really finding out that they are falling in love and, and they're actually declaring it and saying it that you are my true love my heart and soul you are my everything and, of course, you've got the crown, which is all about power and wealth. And then you've got the Wheel of Fortune, which is all about luck, exceptional luck, extreme luck, and life-changing luck that brings on the life of luxury for you. So 
Um, we're talking about major transformations in every way. They're very, very deep and on a high level. And that's that. That's the end of your reading, my dear viewers. I hope you enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. And please support me by seeing the video all the way to the end. I wish you abundance of blessings. Best wishes to all of you. Namaste.